Good afternoon, everyone. This is Angela with Creatively Done, and today I am going to be using a split cup that my partner created on his 3D printer from a wonderful file which will be listed below. And I'm going to be doing black on both sides and white in the center on a primed round canvas. And it's on a turntable. So I am going to try to um, make one of my favorite artists laugh and I'm sure she'll probably get to see this. So Fiona in Slovenia, if you see this, this will be my feeble attempt to do what you have literally made look like a walk in the park. So I am going to start pouring and hopefully not dump all of this on the canvas and I'm going to try to rotate it using this nifty modified 3D printed cup that we will have available for sale and uh, it has a kind of a lip on it so the paint doesn't just pour off and we'll see if we can improve on a otherwise just perfectly fine pour cup so here goes Let's get started in the center and hopefully all the paints will come out and I'm going to start oh, so far we just have white but that's okay Let's see how this works so far we just have white so we're gonna pour a little further and as you can see now the black is starting to come out so I'm going to go back to the center and I think my paints aren't the right consistency so we're just going to keep trying to go around and for those of you that think this is an easy way to paint trust me I would rather paint with a brush I just lost part of my thing here so what I'm going to do is just keep going and see if I spin this and come back to the center and go around to the edge and see what we can come up with. Like I said, it'll be pretty, but I don't have the technique down, but this is the way you learn by just doing. So the paints are still pouring out. I'm going to make sure that I have enough paint on both sides. Like I said, this is on a dry canvas as my arm is in the way here. I can move that out of the way. And not sure what we're going to get here, but I'm going to stop. And now what I'm going to do is spin. And when Fiona did it, it made all the paint go all the way off. And let's see if I can get it to do that With, without knocking the canvas right off onto my table here. And like I said, it's interesting. It's certainly not the way that she had shown it, and I'm trying to learn. So everybody, whether you're new or old or been doing this for a long time, I certainly haven't, you can create an interesting abstract design using almost anything. Now, I'm surprised, and this is what we're trying to figure out, is what keeps the paint from coming out in a good direction. So, like I said, the black is on the outside and it looks like the white it just came out a little too much from the center and again I'm gonna to try to spin this and see if I can make everybody dizzy that's watching but and again if I had put some paint as a base coat it probably would have run off a little bit more and again it'll be an interesting design 
but certainly nothing that I would say I'm thrilled about. However, um, like anything else, when you're learning how to use products and different types of pour cups and so on, because we have several different styles. Of course, I put them around on the other side, so let me let that sit there for a second and I'll show you those. And I will try them again in another pour. But this will just be a pretty, see there's one that has four sections, one that has three sections, and one that has two sections. And since I'm getting some bubbles here, I'm going to get my torch, and I'm going to torch this quickly. It'll be pretty. Who doesn't like black and white? But certainly, and I'm going to try to not let this run over the sides so that since this is just a canvas panel, I'm going to try to just keep it evenly. Well, at least I'm able to do that. That's a plus. This will be a pretty design, but like I said, there's so many more techniques to learn and tools to use, so that's going to be that one. Most of the time, we keep stretching it, and it goes off the sides, and then um, the canvas panels will warp. So what I'm going to try to do is keep this like a beautiful ribbon, which it is, and sorry about the glare right here. I'm trying some new lights out to get a better video. We're getting a traveling. So, so far, it's pretty well spaced around the whole circle. The air conditioner just kicked back on again if you hear something in the background. So that one I'm going to set to the side. And I'll stop this tape video. I'm old. It's a tape to me. And I will use one of the other cups and try another color. So, this is Angela with Creatively Done. Don't be afraid to try new things. And if you have any of these split cups and you have a technique that works for you, share it online, share it in the groups, and we'll all learn. Thank you, and remember to get something creatively done. Bye.